Canon C-Log3 or not? Hmm. Why am I just discovering C-Log3 and should I be shooting in it? What am I doing? Welcome back to the YouTube channel, friends. My name is Brian with Mood Sound Design, and today we're gonna to be comparing Canon's Cinemalog 3 footage with Canon's standard video format H.264, and this is gonna be using my Canon R5. Now, if you have a moment, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me, as well as the notification bell, so you know when we upload. And if you really wanna make your day a lot better, hit that like button as well. Also, if you're a videographer, YouTuber, or filmmaker who needs good music for your videos, go to moodsounddesign.com and start a free trial with us today, and you'll get access to some of the best music for your videos. So the other day, I got a comment on one of my videos that said, love this, do you shoot with any cinema profiles on the R5? And I had to think about that for a sec, and uh, after a quick Google search, I realized I could go into the menu settings on my Canon R5 and turn on C-Log3 and shoot in that video format. I've had the Canon R5 for like, six months now. And the reason why I didn't even think to shoot in C-Log is because I've been using the Canon 1DX and the 5D Mark IV, both of which don't have the latest firmware updates. There's no way for me to go into settings and, and turn on C-Log 3. I've been aware that, you know, Canon cinema cameras have that log capability, but I, I just never really put it together that my Canon R5 has it. So I thought, you know what? I'm gonna make a video that compares the standard format I've been shooting in this H.264 with the C-Log3 footage and see what I like better. So before we get into comparing this footage, let's quickly cover the basics in case you don't know what it means to shoot in log. And I'll keep it really simple for you. If you wanna do a deep dive on the internet, go for it. You can get really technical with a lot of stuff, but all it really means is you're taking full advantage of your camera sensor and shooting video in a much wider dynamic range. So this means it preserves the details in your highlights and shadows. It just gives you that more cinematic look that most videographers and filmmakers are going for. I mean, if, if you can make your videos look like Hollywood movies, obviously you're gonna want to do that. Now keep in mind when you're filming in log, if you look in camera, the, the picture is gonna look really flat and almost desaturated almost like you took the contrast slider and took it all the way to zero. And that's just that log format doing its magic, making full use of the dynamic range. So a really important step in seeing that log footage in its true form is getting it into video editing software and doing some color grading. So before we compare the B-roll shots that I took, I wanna quick walk you guys through the steps that I took to color grade my C-Log3 footage. So obviously first you're gonna wanna import your footage into Adobe Premiere or whatever video editing software you're using. Once your footage is in Premiere, the very first step you're gonna wanna do is convert your log footage over to the Rec 709 color space. And you can do this by using an input LUT. Now, this Rec 709 color space is really gonna bring that log footage back to life and it creates a fantastic starting point to then get creative in color grading your film. There's lots of different Rec 709 LUTs out there and they're all usually tailored to specific log formats, so, if you're shooting in Sony Log or, or RE Cinema, there's probably gonna be different Rec. 709 LUTs out there that convert those specific log styles. So I was actually able to find a free Rec. 709 LUT specifically for the C-Log3. If you check the link in this description, I'm gonna give you guys that as well, but this is a really important first step in just bringing your log footage back to life and it just almost immediately gets exciting. So to add this Rec. 709 LUT in Premiere, you simply wanna go to the Basic Corrections tab and go to input LUT, add this LUT in, and if you take a look at some of these clips that I've shot in the C-Log3, you'll notice that just by adding this LUT, immediately the footage looks so much better, so much more natural like you would expect it to look. Again, there's lots of different Rec. 709 LUTs that you can even purchase that all do a little bit different conversion in terms of the colors 
I found this one that I feel like works quite well for a lot of the different shots that I got here. So if you are shooting in C-Log 3, definitely check the link in that description and get that LUT. Now keep in mind, you don't have to convert your log footage to Rec. 709, but you're gonna find yourself really cranking those sliders and turning up the contrast quite a bit just to get the results that you're looking for and you're probably gonna end up pretty frustrated. I would recommend using this input LUT first and then you're gonna save all that slider wiggle room for the creative end of it, which we're getting to in just a sec. So we've got our log footage converted over to Rec. 709. Next, I went to the creative tab in Lumetri and added a mood cinematic LUT, which is one that I've personally created. And this starts getting those colors a little bit more on the film aesthetic looking side of things and really more of an aesthetic that I just like and find pleasing to the eye. So when I added this mood cinematic LUT, I took it down to about 65%. I felt like 100% of that LUT was a bit too much, so I dialed it back just a little bit. Uh, and from here, you can already see this log footage really coming to life and looking a lot more cinematic. If you are interested in the mood cinematic LUT, you can actually get it for free along with three other LUTs as well as five Lightroom presets that I've created. All you have to do is start a 14 day free trial with Mood Sound Design and we'll send you those free LUTs as well as five presets. Even if you cancel with us before your trial's ended, you can keep those four LUTs and presets they're yours. So after the mood cinematic LUT is applied, from here it's just about having fun with the slider. So I'll go to the basic corrections tab, go to the curves tab, and mess with all of these until I really get the footage exactly how I want it to look. So I've done that with all my log footage. This is where I was really able to fine tune the colors, make sure I've brought out the details as much as possible in the highlights as well as the shadows. And this is for me honestly the fun part. Okay, so now that my log footage looks a lot more natural to the eye, it's color graded, I love it. I can now compare it against the standard video format. So basically I went around my house and took a bunch of B-roll shots and got the same shot twice, one in the C-Log3 and one in that standard format. And almost immediately you can see a difference here. So starting with this shot of Allie on the bed, I wanted to get this shot because I knew that there would be that window in the background with really bright light coming in. And you can almost immediately see the difference between the log footage. There's a lot more detail in those highlights out of the window as opposed to the, the standard format. It almost looks like those highlights are, are blown out. So I'm already way more impressed with the C-Log footage than this H.264, which again, I'm kicking myself for only discovering this now. Going through a few of these other B-roll shots here, I just absolutely love the color depth that you get from the C-Log 3. It just looks so much more cinematic. Uh, that dynamic range is there and it's, it's just way more versatile footage. That key thing is color grading it correctly so you're not like, dude, what, why is my contrast at 100 and this the log footage still looks horrible. Going through all these B-roll shots here, you can really see quite a difference in the, the H.264. It's, the H.264 still looks good. Uh, it's just not quite, I mean, it's your standard standard DSLR video footage. It, it doesn't have that cinematic filmic feel to it, which is what most videographers are going for. So I am definitely very impressed with C-Log 3. It's something I will 100% be shooting in from now on. Even this video here where I'm just talking to you guys, it's shot in C-Log 3 and I love it so much more. The main takeaway is that dynamic range as well as the color depth of the C-Log 3 that you just don't quite get from the H.264. So it was really cool to compare the two and just I guess see what I've been missing out on. That's all I have for you guys today. Definitely check the link in the description because there's lots of goodies for you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I've got a lot more content to post here for you guys. Video tutorials, photo tutorials, uh, cinematic stuff, obviously now, especially with C-Log 3. So uh, stay tuned and I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace. Mm -hmm.